Conference. And we spoke of the end of this rivalry. They'll play again next year in Morgantown, but then Penn State heads off to the Big Ten schedule in 1993, and these two schools do not know when they will meet again on the gridiron. Third down and seven, no score. We played three minutes in the first quarter. And around, it's Terry Smith. He's close to a first down near the 30 from the 35 of Penn State. Sacco is a deceptively good runner. He throws complete to Smith. First down in West Virginia territory at the 49-yard line. Three of West Virginia. Blitz and a screen to Anderson. First down and much more. Inside the 20 and out of bounds near the 15-yard line. Sacco looking into the end zone. Throwing wide open. Touchdown. Kyle Brady. Teammates to get over. Back to the run. Morell in big trouble. Got away from Perry. Then he's swarmed under by Reggie Gibbons. This is not West Virginia football, third and 17. As a matter of fact, it's not too many teams football. There's more evidence. Incomplete pass, they rule. Brian Mosier's checked in at fullback, number 33. He leads the way for Richie Anderson. But check that. Shelly Hammond's just into the game. And he's out of bounds inside the 15 at the 14. 10, 185 pounds. Third and goal from inside the one. Sacco over the top. No signal yet. Penn State players signaling touchdown. Their opinion doesn't matter. And now the officials concur. Touchdown, Penn State. And you wonder how Mark Duffner isn't a candidate for more top coaching jobs around the country. He has the best record of any coach in the country at Holy Cross. Not a good track record for the West Virginia offense here this afternoon as Studstill is swarmed under back at the 10-yard line by Derek Bonner, the sophomore from Greensboro, Pennsylvania. Quarter. 14-0 Lions after one in very happy valley. In the shadow of Mount Nittany. Third and 20. Stud still under pressure. Lost the football at the one. And the official rules he was down in West Virginia. Third and four. The West Virginia 45. Setting up the screen. Plenty of room again for Hammonds. First down. There he goes down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 12 is the holding. And it is good. Virginia looking for its first first down on third and two. With 10-10 to play in the second quarter. And they did not get it. Jack as he gets the punt off coming off the corner number six Humphreys he hits him then he gets hit again from Derek Vaughn and he gets blown away poor guy he's up now it's SMU who just beat somebody crazy yeah, come on to that interception Darren Perry sheds a couple of tackles and he's down inside the 30 yard line we'll pull it off again 16 as a team. Here goes Anderson. Touchdown, Penn State. Pick up another first down on the pass to the tight end, Alex Shook. From their own 45, it's Morrell. Thrown for a loss. Back at the 42-yard line, Keith Goganis made the own 36. 24-0 Penn State. We near six minutes left in the first half. Morrell thrown down for a loss of one. Field position wise of the ball game. Three punts and a rough. It's a fake and he's open. First down, West Virginia. The pass was caught by Tim Newsom. Looked on that replay as he was several steps beyond the back of the end zone. On fourth and nine, they go for it. Stud still going to the end zone for Beasley. Touchdown, West Virginia. The way they're going, they're going to need every point they can get. Richie Anderson from the 12. The 
Again, terrible tackling by the Mountaineers. And Anderson brought it all the way back into West Virginia territory at the 48-yard line. A 42-yard return. Penn State. Loose ball. Saka couldn't fall on it. And the Mountaineers have it. Here's Jerry Punch with Joe Paterno. Coach, you got to be awfully pleased. Your kids have played so well on both sides of the ball. Well, except for that falling asleep on that fake punt is ridiculous. When you, I, well, in fact, I yelled at him, watch the fake. And fall well, asleep, that bothers you when you do something that time. But we played hard. We've been alert. Uh, it's been a pretty good half for us. Surprised at how well you've moved the ball offensively. You've moved the ball pretty well on the ground. It's up and down the field. Well, we, uh, you know, we worked awfully hard on our running game, and we've had a good week of practice. I thought we could run, but it's, that's only the first half. West Virginia's going to do a couple of things a little different. Second half, make it a little tougher for us to run. So it's, it's not going to be as easy the second half. Thanks a lot, Coach. The third quarter about to begin. As you might expect, the Lions also dominated the game statistically in the first half. First and two after the penalty. Sam Gash has the first down in which he is lacking his leadership. He's not really a take-charge guy in the huddle, but they say he's been improving at that. Again, he avoids the rush. Finds Kyle Brady, the tight end. Into West Virginia territory. Six. Anderson threw a big hole. Inside the 20. And out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Marsh looking on as Fayette tries a 31-yarder. Out of the hole, the score. It's good. Thank you, Jerry. Great hustle by Jerry and our crew to track down Mark D'Onofrio. As Jerry said, we all wish him well. Baker's long day continues. He tripped over the 10-yard line. Second and eight. Stud still. Throws on the run. It is intercepted. Deflected and picked off by Lee Rubin. Received the punt from Helkowski. Fair catch, signal, Newsom let it go, and it takes a Penn State bounce. Down by the Lions at the three. Sam Gash, again a big hole. Anderson, now they're ripping through gaping holes. Anderson inside the 10, and down to the seven yard. Yeah. 20 yarder. And Fayak continues to have a perfect day. 30 to 6 in favor of Penn State. Still at a quarterback. This play is in big trouble. Beasley. Down at the 28 yard line. Again against West Virginia. Jerry Sandusky said he won the Keep the Drive Alive Award. That's thrown up for grabs and caught. The pitch is Aaron. And Derek Fauna has it for Penn State. This might be the final play of the third quarter. Smith has a first down and more. will return to Happy Valley in a moment. On the ground for Penn State. More than 10 times as much rushing yard for the Nittany Lions. And here they go back to the air to McDuffie for a touchdown. State basketball game for ESPN over the last few years. And... He's not only a terrific coach, the record speaks for itself. He's also a class act. Fumble on the kickoff, recovered by the Nittany Lions. Starting to click on all cylinders, James Jett had the ball knocked free by Ivory Gethers, and it was recovered by Jeff Perry. Sack is still in a quarterback with a 31-point lead. And he was hit as he threw it up for grabs, caught by McDuffie, touchdown. the bench play action fake he's in trouble and down inside the 15 here 13 20 left in this one 44 to 6 Penn State Gray throws it intercepted Ivory Gethers picked it off if it wasn't ugly for the Mountaineers Kerry Collins still at quarterback he gave it to JT Morris he may go. Sixty-six yards and a touchdown. 
overall record to seven and two. They certainly justified their number eight ranking with this performance today. Don Nealon still winless during his tenure in West Virginia in this stadium. His team falls to five and three. For Craig James and Jerry Punch, Sean McDonough saying so long from State College, Pennsylvania.